Hello and welcome back to Nexivod Extinction. Uh, you may have noticed I'm a different character. Uh, I had a look at the characters in between because while editing uh, the first lot of videos, I was very indecisive with the character I picked and didn't even realise this one. I'm going to go with this character because I love their hair. Uh, and I think they're the closest to me in my sort of outfit I'd wear. I swapped out the follower to Gekoko. Um, and since last recording, I've fallen in love with Snush. I've drawn various pictures of Snushes and hidden them around my house. Uh, I have sent all my friends pictures of Snush and invited them to Snurch. Which, when I typed in Snurch, apparently was a thing. So, I think it originally was Snail Church, but now it's Snush Church, so there you go. Uh, I have been craving to play this again since I last played the Snush. Um, and I'm hoping... To see, I'm hoping we make some progress. Body spends an awful lot of time here, her research being essential to her survival. So a couple of things I noticed. When I was talking to people, I would sometimes like finish the dialogue and then read it out loud. Um, which could, kind of was a bit weird. If you don't have much time, you can still buy some shards and core from shop for merchants. They can be pretty expensive. I want to try to craft their own cores. As a Latarian, I hate to rely on guild services, but I can't deny the the efficacy. If, if, if These core things, they really work wonders on your next in line. Why is it taking so long to repair my cores? I have lots of training to do. Come on. Hello. Oh, hi, hi there. Have you come to synthesize cores? Let me help you out. Yes. Alright, buy the synthesizer. What have you got? Uh, boost stats? Yeah. And HP. He frees the chance for some status effects. XP. I mean, that's always a good one. Where's the amount of coins? Stamina. Copy. Oh, and then synergy cores. Okay, so they're very expensive. Um, so you may need to come back to these people later. Let me know if you need anything else. What was your trade offer again? A bunch of things, right. So, something I remember, in Palmea, the holiday place, someone was selling secret sauce for 450 coins, so we need to go back there at some point. Um, but for now, we're going to run over to the guild hall and try and progress the story a bit. And just see, see where our travels take us. A fisherman? It's a fancy building. The Tamers Guild. So they're on like a raised platform in the center of the city, like into the sky. Are you, are you a newbie? You must watch your step in the Outlands. Please use these coins and get some supplies. I will happily take free money. Hey rookie, come by the frozen tundra when you become stronger. The situation is a dire. Oh. Greetings, young Tamer. This is the Tamers Guild, the proud shield of the human world. You might be just a rookie, but every member is essential to our survival. Now, one thing I want to try and get better at is being more clear when I say things. Because uh, to me, this whole series is a hobby and practice for making videos. Um, I've been greatly enjoying it already. Hundred tamers come in and out of this building. There's a lot of work to do. Humans will reclaim this world from the tyrants one day. I just know it. pretty crowded in here. We wouldn't stand a chance fighting against the tyrant otherwise. I still don't know what a tyrant is. Let's go and get our badges. Come on. To be fair, they've not explained what a tyrant is to me either. There's a person with a gas mask on the left. There's a floating person on the right. Oh, it's you. The kids Amelie told me about. Welcome to the guild. I'm the regional administrator. Uh, let's see now. Anyone with a next one companion is entitled to become a bronze tamer. Our standards are pretty low, I guess. Are you always like this? Take this badge and carry it with pride. Congratulations. Hooray! Hmm, they don't seem impressed. Uh, Susie, what are you doing? People are staring. Come back. Come on, please. I was just excited. You know how it is. <laughs> 
Okay, don't do that ever again, Cece. Oh no, I am cringe culture. Oh no. Anyway, if you're team with I shall assign a fitting task to each of you. We're not going to work together? Some difficult missions require teamwork, but bronze tamers are given simpler jobs. Work hard, you might acquire the superior silver or gold badge. But now come to me when you're ready for your first assignment. I say we're ready for our first tutorial. Characters with star on their head have something important to tell you. It's usually a quest, so make sure to chat with the characters. Now go and speak with the administrator. Alright. Hello, CC. Are you ready for your first assignment as a bronze tamer? Amelie is eager to show you the ropes. Very well. Please come to the meeting room. Your client is waiting. It's a mole person? A small minor girl? Okay. Hey, who are these losers? These losers? I mean, these tamers are CC and Coco. They'll take on your job request. Are you serious? Hey, you are a kid and that's a cat. You don't get to complain. I just saw them getting their badges five minutes ago. Huh, she's got a point there. The entire lake was frozen. There's a bunch of rabbit decks on one. Don't give me someone you only just hired. Yeah, but I'm hired for a reason. Like, I may, I may not have experience. That's why I'm a bronze tamer, not a silver tamer. This is a menial task. You need to trust Cece, please. Ugh. Okay, fine. I'll take your rookie tamer. But obviously I didn't warn you. Both of us get stuck under that lake. Hey, newbie. Meet me outside the city at once. Chop, chop. We were in, already in the talking room. Oh, also I noticed, last time I used a perfect berry. Um, I think all Nexo One enjoy those berries. Ahem. That brat is a Nexo Mite miner. The lake she normally works at has unexpectedly frozen over, and hostile Nexo One have been sighted nearby for one reason or another. You just need to escort her while she does her job, Cece. That's all there is to it. Sounds simple enough. Might even find some cool Nexo One around that lake. Yeah, that's the spirit. Not bad for your first assignment, right? I can take you outside the city right now, or you may explore Paramo a bit more if you'd like. Uh, let's head off. I think we've done most of the stuff in the city. There's probably some extra stuff, but we can come back for it. Are you heading out, dear? Did you visit the shop first? Yeah, I did. There was a racist dog man there. This is where we found Port Collet before. I just want to real... Just see if there's anything good here. Oh, what? <laughs> Okay, so we found the like rare mutant next to Oh, she's off the fucking bat! <laughs> okay, I mean. Sure, that's not what I was expecting. <laughs> oh god, I mean. I, I can't complain too much, it's a super rare next one. And if I was a smart person, I would replace Snush. However,. Snush is pretty good. Uh, what do you enjoy? Shrimp agiri? You enjoy shrimp, excellent. Does he just straight up sucker punch you? That's his like catching, uh, his biting animation. That really is just insta catch, okay. Excellent trap. Uh, B X Y A A B B Y. Well, that was messy. <laughs> Florizard was caught. It's, all, it's almost impossible to stop this next one unless it's willing to get close to you. It has perfect camouflage technique. Move across leaves and branches in the blink of an eye. And just then it's a storage. I I can't get rid of Snush this early on. Look at him! I should have healed up before going on this adventure. Ooh. Oh well. Uh, where was the frozen lake then? Oh, it might be to the right? Did we go that way? Rookie, what took you so long? Are you ready? Is your body healed? Do you have any items? Gosh, I feel like I'm the one escorting you. A bronze tamer. Ah. Oh yeah, we'll see about that. Go on, I'll show you the way to the lake, because I bet you haven't got the faintest idea how to get there. No, that's why I'm escorting you, idiot. Probably to the Outlands. Whatever. I mean, look, there's a healing tent right there. We're fine. The Outlands. I mean, it looks pretty cool already. I'm just baffled by this girl coming up and going, I bet you don't know your way to the lake. No, that's why I'm following, I'm following you to the lake. Like, I've not been there before. I, I'm just baffled. 
Hey, over here, go on, look at me. How are you so slow? How are you so fast? The lake is down this way. Don't go anywhere else, you hear me? I'm tempted to go somewhere else, but... <laughs> you know, it's not too late to revive that career option. Okay, firstly, heal up. Thank you. Get some coins. Next attract. Can I go into either of these tents? No. That one I can. 20 coins. Glazed cake. Someone should put that about. Pincho. Apparently the tyrants will breed a very intelligent and strong Nexomon. That's why they might be fit to replace the king of monsters. The dumb war among tyrants has wrecked our world. Have you seen the Outlands? Be careful, while next month have become stronger as you progress on your adventure. Still, I suppose there's a limit how much they can grow, but don't underestimate them. I mean, yeah? Watch out, mate. If I see you out there, I'll be sure to challenge you to a battle. Tables like me are always looking for a good brawl. Camps and cities are a sort of neutral ground, I guess. I managed to install a portable storage console here. Go ahead, Tamers of Guild can use it. Uh, I want to see how strong Florizard is. <laughs> Florizard. Can I see your stats or anything? Info. Uh, attack 18. 14. That's kind of a big imp That's a very big improvement on Snush. No, I'm, I'm committed to Snush. I can't get rid of him. I love Snush way too much to replace him already. Ever hear about elemental whistles? Yes, I have. I will bite that. Buying things cheap and getting things better again. I heard there's also a dragon whistle. Yeah, I mean... Hey, are you a guild team? If you have a moment... What's the matter? A child from the capital city of Paris someone managed to squeeze out of the city walls. And now she's missing. Well, that's a big deal, huh? Yes, right. She could be anywhere in the Outland. We're asking all adventurers to keep an eye out. I wish I could provide more information, but this is all we have. Alright, maybe we'll find the kid as we travel. But there's a quest reward for finding her! Right, but surely risking a child is enough for a war. Let's go get going before someone feeds us do it. Uh, destruction core? Okay. We can make Giga Snush. Just make Snush ultimately powerful. Hello. Hey, you there. Fight me. What? Why? We're guild team. You're going to make sure that our members are in shape. Show me what you got. How strong are you? Eight. That's not too bad. Get him, Snush! Ooh, that's powerful. Shit. Go on, Snush. Kill! Yeah, go, Snush! Uh, you're wind. Or are you normal? Handle you. <gasps> Snush, swap out. Who's good on normal? I don't know if anyone's good on normal. Phantom might be okay. Okay, Phantom's a good choice. I forgot to... I was gonna uh, look up the actual, like, uh, weaknesses chart, because it seems to be a bit weird. Oh, good job, Snitch. Hmm, fair enough. You're certainly fit to be a guild teamer. Alright, carry on your business. Motion shard. What do you have personal of a gas mask? Ooh, watch out! If you wander too far, you'll be hitting the frozen tundra. Your next one might unexpectedly get a frozen status need lots of antifreeze. Lucky for you, I'm carrying a little extra. I will buy those for later. You're going to be so glad you got some antifreeze in your bedroom. Still, watch out over there. The weather and the only danger in the tundra. Also, I'm noticing a lot of cars and stuff. Is this game modern? Like, I don't know what time period this is. I think it's sort of like modern fantasy. There's a grid. Right? God, he's fucking going for the throat. Stunned! Go on, Snush. Snush is just... He's pretty good still, despite Florathon being stronger. I just like Snush. He's so cute. Uh, Loom. Let's tag you in. Okay, how do I get to that chest? You probably get something where you can drop... You might be able to, like, drop down places. Goatsy! Oh, look at his silly teeth. 
hit him with a tin rate. <laughs> oh my god, I almost killed him instantly. <laughs> okay. Go on. Get in the Toborone. Nice. We got Goatsy. An only calm Nexamon. When it wants to play, it becomes very energetic and jumps around like an excitable human child. Alright. 